2.1, number 18. Here we have a linear equation with decimals to solve. So we're going to go through the regular four steps to solve this equation. First, we're going to simplify. If we had parentheses, we would first distribute to get rid of parentheses, but we don't. So we're going to go right to combining like terms. So we have 1.1q minus 2.5q on the left side, and that gives us minus 1.4q. And just bring down the minus 2.7 equals and there's nothing to simplify on the right side, so we just write it down. After simplify, we want to do the addition property, and that's going to move variables to one side and numbers to the other side. So let's go ahead and add 2.4q on both sides. That makes it cancel out on the right, and then we're going to be left with just q if we do 2.4 minus 1.4q, it leaves us q. Take away 2.7 equals minus 3.3. Do the addition property again to now move the number to the other side because we want q all by itself. So we do plus 2.7 plus 2.7. It cancels on the left. And we're left with q equals minus 3.3 plus 2.7, which is minus 0.6. And that's our final answer. In a couple of sections, or in the next section, we'll see that there's going to be another step added on, which would be the multiplication property. Uh, but right now we don't have that yet. The only other thing would be to go ahead and check the answer. And to check the answer, what you'd want to do is put in minus 0.6 back into the original equation of 1.1q minus 2.7 minus 2.5q equals minus 2.4q minus 3.3. So we're going to put that back in here. 1.1 minus 0.6 minus 2.7 minus 2.5 times minus 0.6 equals minus 2.4 times minus 0.6 minus 3.3. And that's some messy order of operations, but it is doable. And once you do out the order of operations, the two sides, uh, or the left side, should equal the right side. And that's what you always want to check for. If that's true, then it means that it was solved correctly. And I'm not going to do it there because I want to fit in uh, two more problems into this video clip. Next one is another linear equation. This time we have fractions. And we're going to go ahead and use the regular steps, which would be simplify first. Again, we have no parentheses, so we're going to go right to combining like terms. And the only like terms I see are one-third and one-third on the right. There's nothing on the left. So the left side stays the same. And on the right, we get a third plus a third is two-thirds minus four-sevenths x. And then we go to the addition property. And we want to get the x all by itself on one side of the equation. So our first step would be to move or get rid of this x on the right so we can make it move over here to be on the left with the other one. Plus 4 sevenths x plus 4 sevenths x cancels on the right. And that's going to give us 3 sevenths plus 4 sevenths is 7 over 7x. Seven Bring down the other stuff, plus a quarter equals 2 thirds. And 7 over 7 x is just x. So we have x plus a quarter equals 2 thirds. And now we want to get rid of the plus a quarter, so we do the opposite, minus a quarter. So it's gone on the left, and we get x is equal to 2 thirds minus a quarter. So now we need to do common denominators, 12 times 3 will give us minus 3 here, times 4, top and bottom gives us 8. So we end up with 8 take away 3, which is 5, over the common denominator of 12. And this one's kind of messy to check, um, but when you have time on a test, you always want to plug in your answer back into the original equation here and uh, make sure that the left side equals the right side when you get a final number. And let's put one more clip in here. 
2.1, number 22. Linear equation again. So first step is simplify. This one does have parentheses, so that's our first step. Clear parentheses. And make sure that the minus sign, or the sign in front of the number, always goes with it when you're distributing. So this is going to give us minus 9b, and then minus 3 times 4 is minus 12. Plus, and here we're just distributing a 1. So what you get out is exactly what's in the parentheses. So that's step one, is distribute. And then clear parentheses. Uh, combine like terms would be our next one. So we've got those two like terms, minus 9b plus 10b. And that gives us b. And these like terms. We have minus 12 minus 9 minus 21. Bring down the equals 0. And getting b by itself, we need to do plus 21 to both sides. So b equals 21.